Hey, how you folks doing? Welcome back to Watson's Wagons for another another iteration of front axle work. Um, today I'm going to go ahead and try to pull the other uh, inner bearing and seal. Um, I'm going to see if I can get another part to fit, you know, the, the puller to see if I can uh, maybe come in from the back side and get a better grip on, on the uh, parts by using a larger size puller. I don't know yet if that's going to work out, but anyhow. Hey, look, uh, so tomorrow, tomorrow is Father's Day. And, you know, a lot of you guys out there are, are doing the dad thing. And I hope that uh, you have a wonderful day. I hope your kids spoil you. And, um, you know, and uh, that you're all doing the, the what you need to do to be good dads. All right. It's not an easy job, not by a long shot. And uh, I can tell you when I first started having kids, um, it, it, <laughs> they don't come with instructions. So you kind of you get your first one and, you know, you do the best you can. And then, you know, maybe you don't do everything right. And then you, you the next one comes along and uh, and you get a little bit better and maybe you're a little bit lenient on that one and the third one comes but you know especially if they're boys uh look we're responsible to help those guys develop into young men who are independent and can take care of their families when they grow up so uh you know and that's kind of that's kind of how my dad uh raised me um i watched that man work really hard his uh entire life um ever since he came into our life and countless hours, shift work, um, always, you know, we, we always had what we needed and, um, he, and, and he always made a point to keep us connected with the family, even though they're out of state, uh, always made plans and took us to places like Cedar Point and down to Florida. We, I remember when we were kids, we went down to Weeki Wachee and uh, Bush Gardens and, you know, things like that. We did Kings Island, uh, Cedar Point, a lot of camping, a lot of, a lot of riding down rivers and stuff and inner tubes and canoes and just, you know, he, uh, he was just a, such an awesome dad. And, and he, and my dad, uh, uh what here, this is my dad. <laughs> Look at him. Isn't he cute? Right? March 16th, 1951, Terry Watson. That's my dad. I love him. And uh, so, Dad, I'm shouting out to you. I love you so much, and I can't wait to see you next week. Um, we're going to go down and see Dad down in Pensacola and hang out with him for a few days, uh, work on some projects together. And uh, But this little guy right here, right, invited me outside one day when he was changing a water pump on, I think it was a... Uh, um, I think it was a uh, Le Mans or something, but you know, a little, I'm just a little fella uh, watching my dad do this work and uh, you know, pull it, pulling off this pump and cleaning it and or getting the new one and putting gasket on it and bolting it back up. And uh, you know, that is how I got exposed to turning a wrench from this guy, that little guy right there. And, uh, you know, you never know when you do something for your kids what will get them connected and bonded into something that, that they like. And so, you know, we were involved in sports, you know, t-ball and, uh, uh, you know, whatever. I mean, we just, you know, we got little exposures to things that helped us develop our interests. And so, yeah, it's pretty cool. But... I love my dad, man. He's, uh, you know, he's he's done a lot in his life. He's a hardworking man. Retired from General Motors. Joined, you know, he worked, worked. He uh, uh, was in the army for a period of time uh, in Europe. Uh, he did. I uh, think he was a camo guy or something. He climbed, you know, poles and run communication lines and stuff for units. And um, but you know, uh, he just an awesome guy. And, you know, my brother and I, at the time, we were uh, basically fatherless. And he met my mother and 
and took us under his wing and took a risk and, you know, brought us on. And, you know, when you talk to dad, he told me one time, he says, he says, you guys needed a father. And I'm thinking, my, how profound is it that this man, this young man, good looking man, um, cared enough to take on us boys at that age. That takes a lot. And his heart's huge. And so, anyways, Dad, I love you so much. And I want to thank you. Uh, I don't, you know, I, I can dedicate this video to you. But uh, I just wanted to, uh, you know, just say thank you up front before I get started on this vehicle. Um, anyhow, check him out. <laughs> Isn't he cute? Love you, Dad. I love you so much. And uh, I'll see you soon. So I'm not going to videotape me removing the bearing. You've already seen how I did that. And, uh, um, but what I am going to do differently on the other one is uh, I do have one that is one size larger. So even in the closed position, you're not going to be able to push it through the bearing. So I'm going to try to feed this up through the tube. Uh, maybe using this little, you know, this little gripper tool and uh, try to get a hold of it and pull it up in through the backside, tighten it up and see if I can't grip that seal and bearing all in one shot. So I'll get this nice and snug because this will obviously come in this way and I'll be able to expand this and get a better grip on it. I just can't feed it from the other side. So that's what we're going to do differently on that one. And I'll just tell you guys how it went. All right. Uh, maybe do a short clip or something. But we're not going to do that on this video. Um, what I do want to do is show you the knuckles here. And uh, just kind of go over a couple of things. So, you know... I've already showed you that uh, how well the new book, the, the uh, bearings fit, and um, the surfaces are pretty good. Now, on the longer shaft, which would be the passenger, or excuse me, the driver's side, um, there is a groove here that you can feel from the seal wearing on it, okay? Now, obviously, this thing had been so sloppy that um, it's, it's fair to say that it's going to rest a little bit on the on the seal material and just kind of wear itself down so there's a little bit of a lip there and um, i'm gonna have to take uh, one of the new seals i'll lube it, lube this up and kind of get it on her to see if it still feels snug if it does then i'll probably go ahead and reuse the shaft if it doesn't uh, in this location and i'm getting some slop or whatever then i may have to get a new shaft um, and I think these shafts come with knuckles. I don't know for sure, but, um, anyways, so looking at the tech manual and I'm talking about, uh, TM nine. All right. Dash 80, 30. Uh, there's a part in here on page 323 that talks about checking clearances, uh, for these knuckles. Okay. Uh, because they, they have to be large enough for lubricant to get in between the pieces obviously to keep them running smoothly but you don't want them to be so large that the parts are slapping to each other and causing potential breaking points um, or premature wear so the measurement is seven thousandths all right and in the image it shows uh let's see here make sure I get these lined up the image shows it in a resting position like this now let me reposition the camera a so we're going to go ahead and check the uh, driver's side axle shaft assembly hama 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 and the book requires a seven thousandths uh, measurement where the parts are sliding together okay and shifting so the book wants me to measure here 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 and 
basically check them all around. So we'll do this, we'll rotate the shaft and check again. So we're talking about um, the tech manual, 9-8030. Okay, page 323, they go over how to check this with your thickness gauge. And you'll note here that it's talking about seven thousandths of an inch. Uh, if it's beyond that, if it exceeds it, you're supposed to replace the shaft assembly. Now, of course, back in these days, these guys weren't running around with lockers on their vehicles. Um, these shafts were constantly spinning. And you'll notice yesterday when I put the original bushing on here, how bad and sloppy it wore out. The seal was completely chewed off. Um, and, and in this particular case, uh, we have a little bit of a wear pattern that had developed from riding on the seal casing on the other side. Um, we'll pull that seal and stuff and check it on a different video. I'm not going to film the whole, you know, removal of it. You saw what I did yesterday. But let's go ahead and check this. Now, 7,000 is the, is, the, uh, is the measurement. So we just want a slight drag on the, on the feeler gauge. And there is slight drag. Okay. Now, that's interesting. I'm getting it down here. I'm, I'm, I was hoping that having it sit like this would cause everything to rest. But my feeler gauge gap is down there. All right. Check the other side. Oh, I know why it's doing that. It's because, it's because that the weight was on that. I'll hold this steady. There we go. Yeah, that's a good that's a good feel. It doesn't feel sloppy at all. Um, and I think am I doing the same thing to this one? No, this is resting on its own. Oh, that's interesting. That's a little bit snug. So maybe snugger is good. You just can't be more than seven thousandths. All right. So a little bit looser on this side. Let me just rotate it. Well, here we'll just we'll set it like this and check it this way. Okay. So yeah, the gauge goes in. It just. But you guys get the point, all right? So you want to measure these locations. Uh, grease lubricants have to be able to get in between these things to prevent premature wear. And obviously, if the gap is too high, you're going to get a lot of a lot of this side motion slapping going on, and it'll just wear it out. So I'm not worried about this. Now, the next thing I want to look at is this wear mark here, okay? And... You know, with this bearing being so bad, like it was, let me get this uh, knuckle out of the way. It caused this axle to go like this, okay? Constantly wore that thing out. I'm going to put this new seal on here carefully, and I just want to see if it's going to actually seal. Now... I had good tension all the way across. All right. I would have expected to get to this point and have that new seal sort of give way. But I think we're going to be okay with the seal. All right. I'm not going to replace the shaft. Do the same set of measurements on your on your other side. Check it out. When you feel this, you can see obvious uh, rub marks, right? But it feels nice and smooth. It's not gritty and funky. Um, same thing with this. All right, so I feel good about that. It's not horrible. Not horrible at all. Well, that's it. When you have them out, check your clearances, okay? And uh, replace them if you have to.
All right. Well, hey, I'm going to go. It's getting hot out of here. It's supposed to be like record heat today. Um, and tomorrow, I may not be messing around out here yet. I don't know. But if I'm not, happy Father's Day. And Dad, I know you're watching. I love you. Thank you so much for everything that you've done for me. And uh, looking forward to seeing you. All right. Now get out there and work on your M37s.